Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to change the battery on this digital multimeter. And it's made by this company here. I think this is pronounced Astro AI, but I'm not sure it might be pronounced something different. Uh, but before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions and make sure that you read through all of the information on the box and any information um, that came inside of the box, including the user manual, before you use the digital multimeter or before you try to change the battery. Okay, you wanna make sure that the digital multimeter is turned off, which we can see this one is. And then you wanna make sure that all of the test leads are unplugged from the digital multimeter. Um, and we can see that the test leads are unplugged from this digital multimeter. So I'm going to turn the digital multimeter over. And then right here is the battery cover and I just have a, a Phillips head screwdriver and I'm just going to uh, unscrew this screw right here that's in the battery cover. And then there's a spot like right up here um, just to be able to like get your, your finger in to be able to lift the battery cover up and then off like this. You wanna be careful uh, when you take the battery cover off that you don't break uh, those two feet there. Um, and then here is the battery. Um, and in this one, it's a nine volt battery. Um, you just wanna verify what type of battery uh, your digital multimeter takes. So I'm just going to uh, gently um, get the battery out like this and then it's connected to the digital multimeter uh, through this here. So I'm just going to gently remove this and you want to be careful because you don't want to damage uh, the part that connected to uh, the 9 volt. Taking my time and being careful there we go and with the old 9 volt battery you want to make sure that you store it in a safe place until you can take it to the proper recycling facility Okay, this 9-volt battery is still good, so I'm going to uh, reconnect it um, to the connector here for this digital multimeter. Um, and on the 9-volt battery, uh, one of the sides, uh, this side here, has a uh, small part um, where the connector uh, will plug onto, and then this side has a bigger part. So we can see on the connector here that one side has a small side and one side has a big side. Um, so the, the big side on the connector will match up with the small side on the 9-volt battery. And then the small side on the connector will match up with the big side on the battery. Okay, so I'm just lining the connector up with the battery. And you wanna be careful of the wires here too. You don't wanna damage them. Um, so I'm just lining the connector up. And then Just going to slowly push the connector onto the battery until it's secured into place. And you wanna be careful when you do this because there are pinch points. There we go. And if you look in the battery compartment, 
Um, it shows us down there which side the plus side goes on and which side um, the minus side goes on. So um, we can see that I have the plus sign side of the battery on the correct side and the minus sign side of the battery on the correct side. So I'm just going to make sure that the battery connector is secured all the way onto the battery. And then I'm going to gently place the battery back into the battery compartment. When you do this, you just want to be careful because there are pinch points. I'm just gently lowering the battery into place. And just making sure that the battery is secured into the battery compartment properly. And then I have the battery cover here. And so I'm just putting the two uh, feet um, in first uh, to where they go in the battery compartment like this. And then just gently lowering um, the battery cover into place. And you want to be careful because there are pinch points. Okay, so I'm just taking the screw and then placing it uh, where it goes. And then I'm going to use the Phillips head screwdriver just to uh, screw the screw back into place. And you just want to make sure to tighten the screw down all the way. But you also want to be careful that you don't over tighten the screw because it is going into plastic and you don't want to strip out the plastic and then not be able to tighten the screw down all the way. So I'm just going to double check here. And I'm going to turn the digital multimeter uh, over here. And then I'm just gonna turn it to the continuity setting just to make sure that it's working. And we can see that the digital multimeter did turn on. So now I'm going to uh, turn the dial back to the off position. All right, guys, I hope that this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.